We have linebacker Lee Koba. Questions for Lee? Lee, start with the injury situation, especially your linebacking group. How, how difficult does that make what you guys are trying to do? Um, you know, it it really doesn't make it that difficult, you know, because, you know, um, those guys got the same amount of reps as a lot of reps through the fall and uh, through fall camp and leading up to the season. So, I mean, they were prepared, you know. You always never want to see one of your teammates get injured, but when they do go down, next man up got to be ready. And I feel like the guys are filled in. How many reps did you have Saturday? I believe I had, yeah, every play. I think I had like 70, 70 some or 80 some snaps. 70 some snaps. So I guess the message for you is don't get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Dev. So how did those young, how have those young guys played? I mean, all I, of them. Yeah, I definitely think. Um, they they definitely played well and you know you're young guys so you know you're, um I mean everybody makes mistakes you know even me um so you know they um they're always in here trying to get better though and always watching film and just trying to improve on the mistakes they have made so it's good. Talk about the the, the blitz, uh, the time of the game, the, the decision to do it then, and you getting the strip sack because I mean that was the play of the game that turned everything around and got UCF chasing you and having to not run it much anymore, but throw it. Just talk about how that whole decision came about and, and the play itself. Uh, yeah, so um, we had been running. We had actually ran that blitz a couple times. and In the game? Yeah, yeah, we had, run, we had ran that blitz a couple times before. And we um, came, didn't really get the look. Um, we had won it with it, and then we ran it that time. And, you know, we got what we, had, got what we expected them to do. And, I came free, he just came tight, and at that point I was just thinking ball, so I just put my hands, like shot my hands to the ball, and he came out, so I was like, yeah, it was exciting. Well, I mean, never saw you, right? No, nah, he never seen me, I'm sure. Okay. Did you know the ball was out right away? Um, not right away, but I rolled over and I seen it on the ground. I seen Jalen Thorne get off, get on it, so. So you ran that particular stunt a couple times before the little loop stunt where you came around? Yeah, yes, sir. Right, and they were un both unsuccessful? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I got pressure on one, but I didn't get home. That was the one you got home on. Hmm. Hey, what's, the, what's the technique on that, um, I guess especially on the quarterback's blind side, to, to force a fumble? Uh, you know, you just, in one hand, you want to secure the tackle with one hand, and then, you know, just be aggressive, and you want to be simultaneous sim uh, with well, both when you bring them together, and, you know, so just – Really just being aggressive through the ball and attacking. How do you balance that, though? Because you got that blind shot and you want to kill him. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to get him down and you also see the ball. I mean, I guess the number one deal is try to knock the ball out first before you put a, put a hit on him. Or how yeah. do you go about I mean, that? definitely. Um, I mean, I knew just the way it was, the way the way the game was going, you know, it was um, kind of going back and forth. You know, we'll score, they'll score. And, you know, I knew uh, we needed a play, like, to change the game. So, um of course, I wanted to get that ball out when I did had the opportunity. You know, you don't get to come free on blitzes too many times. So when I did come when I did come free, you know, I want to make the most of it. So you thought ball first, then shot? Yeah, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Did you see anything on tape that um, indicated he was loose with the ball, or there was the ability to knock the ball out when he was in the pocket, or was that just something you saw at that moment and took the opportunity? Yeah, it was really just something I seen at that moment. Um, we know we we knew that um, they would give us chances to take the ball away though. So it's just one. Pretty rare. This defense has only forced a couple fumbles this mm -hmm. year, and that was a big one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I hate to ask this, but um, you got four college regular season games left. Have, have you have you thought about that and how quickly it's going and appreciating the moments as they come? Yeah, definitely. I definitely um, – I try not to think about it too much. You know, I try to take it one day at a time. But, yeah, I definitely know my time in college running out. So, I just try to make it the most of the opportunities that I am getting now. Earlier in your career, if you had that opportunity to get a blind shot on a quarterback that you're chasing all day, would you have taken the hit as opposed to knocking the ball out first earlier in your career and say, man, I get a chance to whack him good? Or yeah. Or just – I'm get, what I'm getting at is just the more older, mature Lee Coba now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just say um, just through experience and just knowing the predicament the team was in, just knowing we needed the ball. So, yeah, just going for the ball. Yeah. Do you 
you, I'm sure it seems when you make a bad play, when you mess up, that they show the film 37 times. Yeah, definitely. Uh, when you make a play like that, do they, do they give you equal billing on that show? Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, Coach, yeah, I mean, we, we, we watch the good plays also, you know. You know, we watch the bad plays a lot more, but we watch the good plays. Yeah, yeah, I watch them at home. How many times did the coach run that one back? Uh, we watched it this morning. I think he probably played like three, four times. Three or four we times, three, four when you miss the gap, it's 37 times, like he said? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much you watched of BYU? What do you know of them? Anything yet? Um, I haven't watched too much film on them yet. Um, still early in the week. Um, I watched I watched a little bit of them. You know, they want to um, outside zone team. They want to run stretch, and they want to run stretch. Um, apparently, you know, um, just do things off of that. So we got to we got to stop the outside zone first. What's it like? Um, you know, common in college football now. You're gonna play a quarterback who you know, but in a completely different situation. Yeah. I mean, is there anything? I guess even just his physical traits. Is there anything you can take from, you know, playing him last year? Um. I mean, yeah, sort of, kind of. I mean, he's. I mean, he's in a different uh, scheme now. So, you know, just going based off what the, what that that offense does and <laughs> how they try to set him up for him to make plays and things like that. What do you remember from last year uh, defending? Uh, last year, I really just remember, you know, just the style of offense that Pitt ran last year. It was more so just, just run the ball, run the ball, and try to, you know, get a big play off of that, like play action or whatever that is and things like that. Is there any sense of uh, – he's on a new team now, but is there any sense of extra motivation playing him again just off of – Pitt did beat you last year with him as QB, and then kind of what he said pre-game, like at West Virginia and all that. Is that anything in your mind? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I mean, honestly, uh, it's 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 on my mind because you know we we have opportunity. Um, we we have opportunity to finish out the season, you know, in the right way. So I mean, it's the next game, so. I'm just very excited about that and just getting another opportunity. Remember the video? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's what he's getting at. Right. Yeah, I remember yeah. the video. I, yeah, I do remember the video. I'm, I mean, people on Twitter tag me in the video, so I mean, they ain't let me forget about it. It's a little different than if they had a different QB. Yeah, yeah.